Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to maintain Azure SQL Databases Index Fragmentation and uh, Statistics Update. But we don't have this feature in Azure SQL Server to do that. To achieve this procedure, we need to have some automation account in place or elastic job. Today I will show you how to do with automation account. Uh, for that, we have an excellent article written by our PDA Yohanan. Okay, first we need to go to the automation account. I already have uh, deployed uh, one automation account with the name testing uh, 32121. Okay, now we need to go to the modules. We need to click on the browse gallery. Here, type the type the SQL Server, and you click on that, and you have to click the import. As of now, I already imported that, so that's the reason I am not importing here now. Okay. Now close this window. If you see here, SQL Server. See, you can see that I already installed that. Now, what we need to do? Okay, uh, just wait. After importing the module, we need to create the credential. Go to the automation account, click on credential, click on add. Here, type SQL admin. Name can be anything here okay why because in the script you need to inform you need to give that code here that you need to call this credential so SQL admin give the password and confirmation password click create now what we need to do go to the run books go to run books Click create run book here SQL maintenance. Okay, select type, click create. Now go to this article. Now copy the script. Copy the script. And go to here. Here. here, you need to mention only the server name without action here. Text to demo 07. Here you need to mention the database name called my database name is called Adventure works here you need to uh, give the credential name so that it will call the username and password from that okay uh, here you can see that the default uh, maintenance procedure okay everything okay click save and publish okay uh, we have done that now we need to what we need to do go to that article we need to download the code okay so go to that down click on copy the whole script and go to SSMS and open open a new query and adventure works database new query paste it here so here we have uh, one thing to, to discuss here you need to the pass some parameters if you pass Azure, uh, Azure scale maintenance all it is going to uh, run indexes and fragmentation 
okay and if you use this index it is going to work and reservable index and as well as it is going to log everything okay if you pass these parameters it is going to uh, work on all the indexes and statistics with no limitation okay modified object also will get modified uh, if you pass these parameters it will run only the statistics if you run this uh, parameter it will run only the index so so we already know right in the connection we have passed all the parameter all the parameters along with the log table one so what in just select the code and click execute so what it is going to do it is going to create one stored position expand the databases expand the databases external programmability expand stored procedure here you will see the dbo dot azure scale maintenance procedure name see here this is the procedure name that we have created now what we need to do now so i am creating a new table called sales dot defrag uh, sales order detail from this table when we pass value one is equal to two it is going to create a only the schema but not going to copy the database click execute now what i am going to i am create uh, i am going to create a non cluster index on that now i am going to insert a data up to five times So this query has inserted uh, these many rows. Okay. Now uh, let's check that what is the fragmentation of that table and the statistics when it was updated. Click execute. Now you can see that here I am having a 56 percentage and as well as 7 percent, 5 percentage. Now when uh, whenever we run this um, uh, DBA dot maintain Azure SQL maintenance procedure this has to be come down so that we came to know that that sql procedure is working now you can see that when the statistics will be updated click execute so up to now we don't have any uh, statistics updates right that's why here we are seeing these as a nulls okay now go to the maintain this click on that now go to click on start click on refresh now if you want to see you can see the errors here the job is still is running so that's the reason we are not getting any of these buttons highlighted Can't refresh. It's completed. So click on output. No errors. So it is asking that cannot open requested by login this. So what we need to do, we go to that, copy that IP, go to SQL server, uh, where is the SQL server? So by default it is going to work with on the public network. That's the reason what we need to do. You need to enable uh, show firewall settings. You need to enable this option. Click to Azure S click save and go back to the maintenance Azure SQL maintenance and click start
the design queue click on the refresh it is completed further click on output oh we don't have any errors login failed or SQL admin so what we have given the wrong username and main. so go to that maintenance uh, go to automation account um, click on credential click on admin here you need to ask the right username and password the username is correct but the password is wrong okay now go back to the go back to the run books click on maintenance click on start click yes go back to the scale maintenance and right now it is in queue click refresh but because it is small code, we are going to fragment on only one table, right? So it is going to run in just in one 30 seconds like that. If it is a huge table, it will be in like in hours. You may, I think you already know that if it is take more than uh, 500 minutes, uh, so it uh, mean that that it operation the operation is going to time out. So the database is very huge. Refresh. Still, it is running. Click on or no warnings and no errors. So it seems like to, now it's like fine without any issues. Still, it is running. Now it is completed. Check that. Click on errors. No error means it is logged. Everywhere output, everything is good. Okay, it is going to save that information. Now go back to the SSMS and check the fragment. Uh, check the fragment uh, fragmentation that has to come down okay click execute see previously it was like uh, 45 percentage it was like 5 percent now it came down to 0.1 percent okay so it means it is going uh, it has worked select that click execute now that statistics was not updated at this so that's the reason but it is good it happened I mean, the statistics was updated on this uh, index so that's the reason we can able to see all these modifications and enters and when it was updated okay and uh, you mean to show like this fragmentation here yeah, whatever we have done up to now is working as as expected okay and i would like to remind you that if the database is very very, uh, very huge in size it is going to uh, uh, and you are going to encounter with timeout error okay so make sure about that and so the second thing is like this is going to work on public ip at the week we cannot place or we cannot configure private end of point to the automation account so you need to set allow your services to s and as well as uh, if the deny public access to yes you need to set that to no so the all these procedures will be recorded into, into the table called uh, maintenance all these operations will be uh, recorded into this main in this table select star from 
Azure Maintenance Lab, click Execute. See these maybe here we can see that the frag uh, here we run this script reorganize and it is done with uh, let's see that what it is so it is going to rebuild that that's the reason we see that fragmentation everything came down okay clean the table okay so this is how you can uh, retrieve the logs for the uh, this thing uh, maintenance and everything so so you already know that when we rebuild the in that indexes the statistics will also going to get updated i hope you you like this video thank you